Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem that is shortest path from 1 to n. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Consider a directed graph whose vertices are numbered from 1 to n. Okay, so we have a graph which is directed means the edges have a direction and the number of vertices are n and the number of uh, vertex numbers are from 1 to n. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n. There is an edge from a vertex i to vertex j if and only if j equals to i plus 1. So, let's say uh, uh, there is a vertex i with value 3 and if j is 4 then there will be a vertex from 3 to 4. Okay. Or j is equals to 3 times i. So, let's say i is 3 and j is 9 then there will be a, a directed edge from uh, uh, 3 to 9. The task is to find minimum number of edges in a path from vertex 1 to n. So basically see we are given a graph in which there are n vertices and the edges will be between two uh, from vertex i to vertex j if j equals to i plus 1 or if j equals to 3 times i and our task is to find the minimum number of edges in the path from 1 to n. Okay, So what are the minimum number of edges which we need to travel if we need to reach uh, vertex n starting from vertex 1. So, if n is equals to 9, yeah, then you need to travel 2 edges. So, from 1 you can go to 3 because 3 is uh, 3 times 1 and from 3 you can go to 9 because 9 is 3 times 3. So, there will be a edge from 3 to 9 also. Okay. So, in 2 steps you can reach 9. Okay. Similarly, if n is equals to 4, then uh, you need 2 steps. Okay. So, from 1 to 3 and then 3 to 4. Okay. You don't need to read input or print anything. Your task is to complete the function minimum step which takes an integer n as input and returns the minimum number of edges in the path from vertex 1 to n. The expected time complexity is log n and expected auxiliary space is constant and the constraints are given here. So if we now try to solve this problem then let us uh, look at this graph where the value of n is 10. Okay, So there are 10 vertices numbered from 1 to n. Now this is a directed graph. So all the edges will have a direction. Okay, So uh, let's say this is vertex i and this is vertex j. Then there is a direction of the edge. Okay? Now there is a directed edge from vertex i to vertex j means you can travel uh, from vertex i to vertex j. Okay? Now there are directed edges in the graph only if j equals to i plus 1 means the value of j is 1 more than i or j's value is 3 times i. Okay? So, out of these two things, if there is one thing, then there will be a directed edge from i to j. So, if I now uh, try to make the edges, then from 1 to 2, there will be a directed edge because 2 is 1 more than uh, 1. Similarly, there will be a directed edge from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9 and 9 to 10. Why? Because uh, these all holds what? j equals to i plus 1. Like if I take j equals to 5 and i equals to 4, then j equals to i plus 1. So we got these many edges. Now how many edges will be there satisfying this condition? Let's say i is 1, then j will be equal to what? 3 times 1, that is 3. So there will be a directed edge from year to year. i is 2, j will be 6. So there will be a directed edge from year to year. i is 3, j will be equal to 9. There will be a directed edge from year to year. Now if i is 4, j will be 12. So, we do not have those many vertices. So, this is the graph. Now, I want to find the minimum number of edges or the uh, shortest path from vertex 1 to vertex n. Okay. So, how will I get minimum path? Uh, by taking as large steps as possible. Okay. So, if let's say I uh, take multiple of 3 at uh, if I come from 1 to 2. Okay. Let's say I go from 1 to 2. Then from 2, uh, let's say I made this step and I went to 6, okay. Then from 6, I will go to 7, then from 7, I will go to 8, then 9 and then 10. So, how many edges are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. So, there are 6 edges in this path from 1 to n. But if I take as big step as possible, see basically, uh, I want to go from smallest vertex number to largest vertex number. Okay, So, as big step as I will take, the number of edges will reduce. Okay, So, what is the biggest step? 3 to 9. Okay, So, I somehow want to reach from 3 to 9. Okay, So, let us say I go from 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and from 3 I will go to 9. Okay, And then from 9 I will go to 10. So, this will take 1, 2, 3 and 4 number of edges. Okay, So, this will take 4 number of edges. Now, there is even better way. What? From 1, I can directly go to 3, right? So, from 1 to 3, 3 to 9 and 9 to 10. So, this is 1, 2, 3, uh, 3 number of edges. So, my answer is 3 for 10. Now, how will I find it? 
see one way is to create this graph and apply some shortest path algorithm okay okay that is one way what is easier way think of this in reverse direction okay so here basically what's happening is see from one i can go to two from two i can go to six from six i can go to seven from seven i went to eight from eight i went to nine from nine i went to ten okay similarly if you look at the graph if i am at a vertex i i can go to vertex i plus one or i can go to vertex three i okay so let's think of it in this way that you want you are starting with value one and you want to make this value equals to n and at every step you can either increment this value by plus one or you can multiply this value by three okay what are the minimum steps to make this value one equal to n you can also tell this now think of this in reverse direction what will be the minimum steps to reach from uh, n to one uh, by either subtracting one or dividing by three at every step now why am i doing so because see here i multiplied two by three and i went to six okay but what was the better approach better approach was to multiply three and reach nine so as big step as i can take okay so what i can do is i can think of it in reverse direction i'll start with n and i want to find the minimum steps to reach one okay and at every step i'll either divide the number by three if it is divisible by three so the largest number which is first encountered will take the biggest step and so the number of steps or the number of ages will be minimum or if the number is not divisible by three do minus one okay so let's take an example let's say n is 10 so i'll start with 10 and i want to make this value one okay so 10 is divisible by three no so subtract one so this will become nine this is divisible by three divided by three this will become three this is also divisible by three divided by three this will become one uh, and uh, we have reached one so how many steps i took uh, this is uh, one or uh, two and uh, three steps right uh, this is the first step this is the second step and this is the third step so my answer is three okay take another example 14 so uh, i is it divisible by three no so subtract one is it divisible by three no so subtract one is it divisible by three yes so divide it by three now is it divisible by three no so subtract one is it divisible by three yes so uh the, so, divided by three so how many steps are there one two three four and five so my answer is five so this is what we are going to do now let's look at its actual code so if you look at the actual code so what i have done i have taken one variable answer which is initialized with zero and while n is greater than one so while n is not equal to one if n is divisible by three divided by three and make answer plus plus else subtract it by one and make answer plus plus and finally return answer what would be the time complexity for this it would be big o of log n base 3 because we are dividing it by 3 and what would be the auxiliary space for this it will be constant because i am taking only this one new variable now let's submit this code so let's submit it So we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood the solution completely. Thank you.